Sunshine Ross Matthews. Hi, 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 hi. And our guest today, I which know. I am so excited about, is um, as a giant of the NFL, a Today Show correspondent, really so many correspondents. Mm -hmm. I actually was like marveling at his resume because we're a syndicated show and it's so nice to just work across the aisles. And he's now the host of CBS Sports Radio as well where we heard he has seen the show, uh -huh. and we are such fans of his, we reached right out, and here he is, Tiki Barber! Hi! Hey. Hi, Tiki. How you guys doing? Good to see you guys. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe this. This is so full circle. Chris Batari, thank you. Literally, my friend Chris was like, Tiki Barber's talking about your show right now on the radio, <laughs> and so we asked to see if you come on. We're such huge fans of yours. Thank you so much for I coming. It is my pleasure. I'm a huge fan of yours. And you know what? It was election day and everyone's stressing about the election. And I see you on your new show, which I didn't know about until I saw it, playing with puppies. I was like, this makes right. me feel so good. Drew Barrymore playing with puppies. I'm, I'm hooked. I'm definitely Sammy hooked. Sammy Sullivan from the you. news had the idea to bring them on. And mm -hmm. it was true. And two of them got adopted here. So, but let's talk bats, balls, and bubbles because it's time <laughs> for sports, sports, sports. <laughs> Okay, everybody knows that Thanksgiving means football, but yes. this time it also meant making history because on Saturday, Saturday, Vanderbilt University senior Sarah Fuller became the first woman ever to play in a Power Five college football game. Yes. I mean, this girl is so cool, so rad. I can't even handle it. Tiki, what is the significance of this? Yeah, this was an amazing story, and I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it, and it was because of necessity. Vanderbilt had already broken for Thanksgiving holiday, so there were no kids on campus. There was no, like, maybe played in high school kicker that could have tried out for the team, and Sarah was still there because Vanderbilt soccer had just played in the SEC championship, and they obviously won the championship, so she was there. Uh, the head coach said, hey, can you come kick for us? He said, absolutely. Unfortunately, Vanderbilt was not very good, so they didn't get close to scoring. So she didn't get the score, but she did kick off, which made her the first woman in Power 5 history. Those are the big schools in college wow. football. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Football. Okay, our next story, after the success of the NBA and WNBA bubbles, the Washington Post reports that NFL is now considering whether to create one for the postseason. Mm -hmm. And they've made no announcements, no decisions have been made, but Tiki, what do you think about the idea of local bubbles for teams so we can keep carrying on? I think it might be necessary. I don't know how how much you follow the NFL, Drew. Um, I, but love, the, I love, I love. So I'm well, you saw the Denver Broncos. You, <laughs> Tiki, you wouldn't think that looking at me, but I'm a huge hey, football fan. Me too. I, I'm a big fan well, of the Seahawks. It. I'm watching Monday Night Football tonight at a Mm -hmm. Outdoor. Oh. There you go. Well, um, you know what? I'm rooting for you because you need to beat the Eagles, who are the, you know, the enemy of my Giants. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Good, good. I hear that. But the Denver Broncos this past weekend had four players, and they were, happened to be quarterbacks who either had the coronavirus yeah. or were contact they traits. So they couldn't start a quarterback. Yeah. They started a, a wide receiver, a walk-on wide receiver at quarterback who never practiced. So, yes, I think they actually are going to need a bubble to get through the postseason. Otherwise, these things could get canceled, and we don't want to see that happen agreed and i think it's just 2020 who's your pod yeah exactly <laughs> and like what does being in a bubble mean it means sort of staying in a hotel room between games right or in room service uh, can i be a player sign yeah. me up yeah yeah, yeah exactly except coach. for when you're there for, except for when you're there for three months like the nba was and uh, you're kind of well that means i finally get through the crown <laughs> and i make uh. every show possible during thanksgiving <laughs> But Tiki, I just can't thank you enough for stopping by. And, you know, you're such an important figure. And I love your whole career and the fact that, you know, now we're sort of trying to do what you do. We could never have played football. So we have to copy this side of your life. Uh, no, you, you guys are you. fantastic. <laughs> You never yeah. know. My mom played football. My mom played, put on, she put on the pads, All played right, football when Sarah I was a kid. Ferguson, or Sarah Fuller, who are you going to be? Uh, the football player? Yeah. Uh, mm, I'm going to uh, old school Steve Largent, number 80. Seahawks. Oh, come on, Show you can be me. Oh. Back in the day, the 80s. Go Steve, long, Steve. Would you please come back and do more sports with us? I would love yeah. to.